Hello, everybody. Good morning. Uh, here we are on the next day assignment. This is kind of planned for Thursday and Friday. So uh, here we go. Let's click on our Google Slides link to open up our assignment. And then we are just going to scroll down here past yesterday's work to this page right here. So I posted a comment to try to help you know what to do. Write down observations and questions about the graph, then read the article and answer the questions using evidence from the article. There you go. Um, so here's the graph. It is a graph showing snowy owl nests and lemmings on Bylot Island. I don't know if I'm saying that right, Billet. I'm not sure. So if you look down here, to first you want to understand what the graph is showing you. So these blue bars are showing the snowy owl nests. And this orange line is showing the number of lemmings. So based on just the graph, um, you're going to click in here and type in uh, your observations. Oh, my B. My letter B is not my keyboard's kind of having some issues with that. So if you see weird things on anything that the letter B looks like is missing from, you'll know why. Um, type in your observations there. What do you observe about the graph? Are there any patterns? Um, what happens? What happens to the populations? Do they stay the same? Do they change? How do they change? Um, obviously, right off the bat, you can see they go up and down. So, I mean, I might type that in. The, the populations change and go up and down. Do you see a pattern with them going up and down? Is there any relationship with both of these things as it goes up and down? Kind of obvious, right? So type that in. And then over here, you'll just type in questions that you have about it that you should have, that you would want to ask. So think like a scientist. What are questions that we should ask to better understand um, this graph and why these things are doing what they're doing? So try to think of at least a couple, two questions. I should exit out of this so I'm not distracting you again. Um, and that's it for that part. Then you will read this article about snowy owls and lemmings. And you're gonna look for certain information. So let's, uh, so yeah, here's the article, <clears throat> but I wanna show you, so this last page I would read first before I read the article, because this will help you know what to look for in the article. What patterns do you see on the graph? Okay, that's just right on the graph. We're gonna type in patterns. I wanted to show you guys something when you type in. So these lines are just here to show you that that's where you can type. But uh, if you type on it, it just kind of separates the lines, right? It doesn't type on the lines, it just takes up space. So what I would do is I'd just go down here, I'd highlight everything, not everything, but just the lines, and then I'd start typing so that the lines go away and I have beautiful, clean space. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, or delete the lines is basically what you're doing when you highlight them. I'm going to press the back arrow so that those lines come back correctly. Uh, there we go. Uh, the next one says, how would you explain these patterns? So that's that's a big part that you're going to look for, right? What, what in the article could help you explain it? Um, what would explain the years when there were no snowy owl nests? Again, the article. Look for evidence in the article um, that can help you answer that question and explain why years on that graph showed that there were no snowy owl nests. Why would that happen? Um, and again, try to explain it scientifically. Use claim evidence reasoning. Um, use complete sentences. Be specific. Uh, and the last one, explain the pattern of predator-prey relationship between snowy owls and lemmings. So there's a pattern. Um, so we already know that it's predator-prey relationship. So what pattern is there? How do they interact with each other? Um, which one eats which? And how does that affect, right? How does one affect the other? If there's not enough of one, what does that do to the other one? If there's more than enough of one, what does that do to the other? And that's kind of what the graph is showing you, this pattern. So just think about making sure you answer that question. Explain the pattern of the predator-prey relationship. How do they interact? How do they affect one another? Um, what happens as they interact with one another. So that's what you're going to do. And that's it. Not too hard, right? Um, so hopefully that helps. There you go. Uh, I'm going to pop back up just to say bye. And uh, I just wanted you guys to know. So Thursday, if 
you go and do half of this Thursday and the rest of it on Friday, that's great. Um, Friday, I am planning on doing another class brine shrimp observation Google Meet. So just look for the link that I will be posting soon for your periods class on Google Classroom. It'll have a it'll have the time on the link so that you know what time to come. Uh, that's it. There you go. Thanks, guys. Have a great uh, weekend and enjoy your time. Thanks for all your hard work. We'll see you later.